أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وأفضل الصلاة وأتم التسليم على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين I've uh, recently released my uh, Nasheed album The Son of Guidance which is an English Nasheed album of six tracks and each of the songs are written uh, from the teachings of my masters in this way in Sufi way and they're uh, mostly to do with the magnificent character and personality of Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Some people have, have a hard time understanding some of the lyrics or where they came from or they're just curious. So we decided to uh, make some clips explaining uh, something from the lyrics from each song. Uh, and we hope uh, you'll enjoy it and share it. Thank you. The sun of guidance has risen with the, the idea behind uh, this song is the prophetic reality that he is um, that's based on the hadith of Sayyidina Jabir أول ما خلق الله نور نبيك يا جابر when, he, when Prophet Sallallahu was asked by one of the companions Sayyidina Jabir رضي الله عنه what was the first thing that Allah created? Prophet Sallallahu said the first thing that Allah created is the light of your Prophet O Jabir According to the teachings of Ahl Sunnah and Jama'ah, that the light of Prophet is the reality from which all creation has come forth. And this is based in uh, the Sunnah of Prophet from what he said and from the Quranic verses. What this song is trying to convey is that um, everything has been, in this creation has been created from Prophet So there are the one of the verses said he was created from his light, from the light of, all, of the Almighty. And this light was dressed with more light since pre-eternity. This is also based on hadith. The spiritual reality of Prophet is cannot be fathomable or imaginable. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala described him, إِنَّكَ لَعَلَىٰ خُلْقٍ عَظِيمٍ You are a tremendous character. We are basically just uh, scratching the surface of how magnificent is Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu as Allah's most honored and greatest of all creation. May God bless the Bedouin for the question he asked. It unveiled the secret of the power of love, the answer to which may love. Oh, Muhammad is a song I wrote, and a sheet I wrote, um, maybe over 10 years ago. It's one of those Sweet Nasheeds because it deals with a matter that if attained, one can taste the sweetness of uh, faith and belief. That is uh, the love of Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The love of Muhammad and his family is my true religion and reason to be. And if when I die, my sins are too many, the love of Muhammad will rescue me. So this uh, is also based in the Aqidah of Al-Sunnah wal Jama'ah that According to Prophet Sallallahu you're not a believer, a mu'min, until you love Prophet Sallallahu more than everything uh, in this existence. And so he equated Iman with love. When I saw his light, I had to cover my eyes in fear for my sight from his amazing beauty. This nasheed is based on a poem I heard that people attribute to Sayyidina Hassan ibn Thabit, the poet of the Prophet ﷺ. The theme of this nasheed is that the reality of Prophet ﷺ as explained by Hadith of Sayyidina Jabir, awal ma Allah nura nabiyika ya Jabir. First thing that Allah created is the light of the Prophet from which all things were created. So this nasheed talks about if a person can get a glimpse of that magnificent light of Sayyidina Muhammad, that the immensity of such experience could not be uh, contained by his physical senses and would not be able to carry that. Something of Prophet's magnificent reality, not its entirety, no one can except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Muhammad lives even in his grave. Muhammad lives, Nabi Muhammad. Muhammad gives even in his death, more than he gave during his title life. Is such because this is a very important uh, principle.
principle in Aqidah of Ahl Sunnah wa Jama'ah that the Prophets are in life. And this is something contested today by some Muslims that, uh, you know, Prophet cannot benefit you, he's a, a, a passed on, that's on. But that's not Aqidah of Ahl Sunnah wa Jama'ah. Aqidah of Ahl Sunnah wa Jama'ah is that, as Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi described on his Isra' Mi'raj, when he was flying over the grave of Sayyidina Musa, he said, I saw my brother praying in his grave. And then he also said that your salawat will be displayed on me in my grave. When you send salam to me, I will send salam back to you. And also your deeds, ta'alat amal your deeds will be displayed on me as well in my grave. So the, the this nasheed is trying to communicate that Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu is living is actually more alive than we are, uh, although we are walking, because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala equates life with dhikr, the hearts that are full of dhikr, and Sayyidina Muhammad is the real dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this is something to to reflect upon, and you can research further uh, in the relief of Ahl Sunnah, and find out that your Prophet is living, and your Prophet وسلم, is interceding, and praying and asking forgiveness on your behalf. One father, one mother, one home we call earth, one truth to uncover, one creator This nasheed is basically talking about the universality of the human experience, the oneness of Allah's creation and existence and how we all have a similar the same starting point and the same purpose for existing and so it's basically talking about that which unites us all uh, regardless of our backgrounds religion uh, this is before all of that the chorus is about two of Allah's names Hu and Hay and what I would like the listener to, to get out of this nasheed is that is to step back from our uh, short-sighted judgments and to think about what makes us human being. Because in, in one of the verses it says, one God, one religion, this religion is love. And some people may object to that, that uh, how is it? His religion is Islam, but we believe in the Sunnah Jama'at that Allah created this creation um, out of his love. Like the full moon you shine in the darkness of the night. This world could not exist if it was not for your life. The main theme of this nasheed is discussing the Muslims or the human beings relationship. What is Sayyidina Muhammad? To us, what does he mean to us? What will he do for us? If you, if you say, because unfortunately today many people have been poisoned to believe that you don't need Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu either in this dunya, and even some dare to claim even in the hereafter that only your deeds will benefit you. The understanding of Ahlus Sunnah and Jama'ah is no one enters heaven except by Allah's mercy, and the manifestation of that mercy in this world is Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi so we as Muslims have to know what Sayyidina Muhammad means to us. So he's mercy for us in this world. Because if we follow his guidance, we can achieve happiness, contentment, tranquility in this world. He's also essential for our eternal happiness when we go into the hereafter. So his intercession is what we're counting on for our safety. That he will ask our Lord to forgive us. And that's what we're bargaining on, inshallah.